Morrison Hotel, Wikipedia article audio. Morrison Hotel is the fifth studio album by American rock band The Doors. It was released by Elektra Records in February 1970. The album is divided into two separately titled sides, Hard Rock Cafe and Morrison Hotel. It was largely seen as a return to form for the band. Background Recording and Composition Album Cover Release and Reception Track Listing Personnel Charts and Certifications Charts Certifications On March 1, 1969, Jim Morrison performed while intoxicated and allegedly exposed himself in front of a crowd of nearly 12,000 at the Dinner Key Auditorium in Coconut Grove, Florida, for which he was charged with indecent exposure on April 4. The incident negatively reflected on the band's publicity, sparking a march for decency at the Miami Orange Bowl. Consequently, 25 dates on the band's next tour were cancelled, and their records were blacklisted from radio airplay, resulting in the band abandoning the rest of their potential tour, costing what Densmore characterized as a million dollars in gigs. Nevertheless, the band gradually regained momentum by playing 18 concerts in 12 cities throughout the rest of the year including the Toronto Rock and Roll Revival and their only appearances in Las Vegas and Mexico City. In July, The Doors released their fourth album, The Soft Parade, a heavily orchestrated affair that augmented the band's sound with horns and strings. Following the Miami incident, Morrison traded in his stage leathers for more conventional attire, grew a beard and gained weight as he attempted to live down his Lizard King image, however, his worsening alcoholism often undermined his efforts. In November, around the same time that the band started recording Morrison Hotel with producer Paul A. Rothschild, a drunken Morrison caused such a disturbance on a flight to Phoenix. Arizona to see a Rolling Stones concert that he was charged with a new skyjacking law that carried up to a $10,000 fine and a 10-year prison sentence. Morrison Hotel's back-to-basics approach largely stemmed from the group's dismay over the protracted sessions for the soft parade, which took nine months to record and cost $86,000, far more expensive than any previous Doors record. The band had also been stung by the critical reception to the record. On this album, there is a slight steer toward blues, which would be fully explored by the band on their next album L.A. Woman Morrison Hotel was recorded between November 1969 and January 1970 with the exception of Indian Summer which was recorded in August 1966 during sessions for The Doors and Waiting for the Sun, which was recorded in March 1968 during sessions for the band's third album. Queen of the Highway was previously recorded in a jazzier arrangement during the Soft Parade sessions, while You Make Me Real was one of Morrison's earliest compositions, dating from 1966. Although Morrison Hotel contains no major hit singles, it features some of the band's most popular songs, including Roadhouse Blues and Peace Frog, which would go on to become staples of classic rock radio. Roadhouse Blues took two days to record with Paul Rothschild striving for perfection. Several takes from these sessions were included on the 2006 remastered album, with Morrison repeating the phrase Money Beats Soul over and over again. The sessions only took off on the second day, when distinguished blues guitarist Lonnie Mack joined in on bass and former Love and Spoonful band leader John Sebastian or to avoid affiliation with the controversial band joined in on harmonica. Over the course of the session, 
keyboardist Ray Manzarek switched from his Wurlitzer electric piano to a tack piano previously used on the Beach Boys' Good Vibrations. The hook of Peace Frog is a distorted G5 chord played three times by Krieger, followed by a brief percussive wah-wah effect. Morrison, who took the words from a notebook entitled Abortion Stories, begins nearly every line with the word blood, often referring to blood in the streets. A brief musical interlude is next, followed by a guitar solo, and a spoken word verse. The song ends with a final chord as it segues into the next track, Blue Sunday. The line Indians scattered on Don's highway bleeding slash ghosts crowd the young child's fragile eggshell mind originates from Don's highway, a poem in which Morrison describes a supernatural event that occurred when he was a child. The spy and queen of the highway celebrate Morrison's intense but troubled relationship with longtime girlfriend Pamela Corson. Originally the spy was called Spy in the House of Love, as shown on the master real control file, a line borrowed from A Spy in the House of Love, a novel by Anat Eastman published in 1954. Both songs are tinged with ambivalence, on the spy Morrison cautions, I know your deepest, secret fears, while on Queen of the Highway he sardonically concludes, I hope it can continue a little while longer. According to the 1980 Doors biography No One Here Gets Out Alive, it was during the Morrison Hotel sessions that Morrison and Corson had a violent argument after she drank his bottle of liquor so he could not drink it, with engineer Bruce Botnick recalling, so here were the two of them, completely out of their minds and crying. He started shaking her violently. I think he was putting me on. She was crying out of control, telling him he shouldn't drink anymore and that's why she drank it. And I'm cleaning up and I said, hey man, it's pretty late. He looked up, stopped shaking her, said, yeah, right, hugged her and they walked out arm in arm, he'd always give you a funny look afterward, to see your reaction. The cover photo was taken by Henry Diltz at Morrison Hotel, South Hope Street, Los Angeles. The band weren't given permission to photograph, so did so while the clerk was called away from the desk. The band jumped right behind the windows and hit their places without shuffling as Diltz took the shot. The rear cover features a photograph of the Hard Rock Cafe at nearby 300 East 5th Street. The founders of the later Hard Rock Cafe chain used the name, having seen it on the Doors album. The building is now home to a convenience store. Upon its release, Morrison Hotel was seen by many as a comeback for the Doors following the critical failure of the Soft Parade. Although the accompanying You Make Me Real slash Roadhouse Blues single only peaked at number 50 as a double A-side in May 1970 despite strong FM radio play of the latter song, the album was immediately certified gold by RIAA in February 1970 before reaching number 4 on the Billboard album chart in March during a 27-week stay. Additionally, it became the band's highest charting studio album in the United Kingdom, where it peaked at number 12. Dave Marsh, the editor of Cream magazine, called the album the most horrifying rock and roll I have ever heard. When they're good, they're simply unbeatable. I know this is the best record I've listened to so far, while Rock Magazine called it without any doubt their ballsiest album to date. Circus praised it as possibly the best album yet from The Doors and Good, Hard, Evil Rock, and one of the best albums released this decade. During this period, the de facto black listing continued to persist in more socially conservative markets, particularly the Deep South, consequently, 
the band's 1970 American tour itinerary was largely confined to the Northeast, West Coast, and more progressive Midwestern cities amid ongoing cancellations, including planned concerts in Salt Lake City and at the Jesuit-operated Fairfield University. The Doors Additional Musicians Technical Asterisk sales figures based on certification alone, shipments figures based on certification alone. Sources Jim Morrison lead vocals, maracas, tambourine, Ray Manzarek tack piano on tracks 3 and 8, Gibson G101 organ on tracks 2 and 5, Vox Continental organ on tracks 4, 6, 7, and 10. Piano on Tracks 1 and 8, Wurlitzer 140B Electric Piano on Track 9, Fender Rhodes Piano Bass on Track 10, Hammond C3 Organ on Track 11, RMI Electra Piano on Track 2, Robbie Krieger Guitar, John Densmore Drums. Lonnie Mac Bass Guitar on Tracks 1 and 11, Ray Neapolitan Bass Guitar on Tracks 2 to 9, John Sebastian Harmonica on Track 1 Paul A. Rothschild Production, Bruce Botnick Engineering, Gary Burden Art Direction, Sleeve Design, Henry Dilt Sleeve Photography Hopkins, Jerry, Sugerman, Danny No One Here Gets Out Alive ISBN 978-0-446-60228-0